Welcome to September, the ninth month. The principle of the ninth step is justice. We have come a long way since January, and we've been doing our best to practice these principles in all our affairs. We are on a healthy journey of proactive discovery, where we don't regret the past because we take responsibility for what we did when we hurt others and pray to not do them again moving forward. We bring balance and healing to the relationships that were harmed by our past behavior. Life's adventure can now open up new, formerly unimaginable possibilities. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. September 8th, we asked his protection and care with complete abandon. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 59. I could not manage my life alone. I had tried that road and failed. My ultimate sin dragged me down to the lowest level I have ever reached and unable even to function. I accepted the fact that I desperately needed help. I stopped fighting and surrendered entirely to God. Only then did I start growing. God forgave me. A higher power had to have saved me because the doctors doubted that I would survive. I have forgiven myself now, and I enjoy a freedom I have never before experienced. I've opened my heart and mind to Him. The more I learn, the less I know. A humbling fact, but I sincerely want to keep growing. I enjoy serenity, but only when I entrust my life totally to God. As long as I am honest with myself and ask for His help, I can maintain this rewarding existence. Just for today, I strive to live His will for me, soberly. I thank God that today I can choose not to drink. Today, life is beautiful. Without help, it is too much for us. But there is one who has all power. That one is God. May you find Him now. Half measures availed us nothing. We stood at the turning point. We had submitted to our master alcohol many times in the past, but like an MMA fighter, we were not done. We would not quit. We regained our composure and drank again after swearing off and meaning it. We only had to manage better, we thought. One more round in the ring for us, and we would show we could conquer it. We would be in control. Our bottom was dug many times, deeper and deeper. We were digging our graves, but our higher power had other plans for us. We wonder why he saved us, and why not others, but we are grateful that he did spare us. Our service to others is how we demonstrate our gratitude, and also how we stay sober. Bill admitted alcohol was his master long before he finally sobered up for good. He had more research to do. He was tempted to take that supreme sacrifice, which means suicide, because on his own, he could not stop the insanity of the drink. We were at the jumping off point like Bill, and all real alcoholics, when we finally bow down and surrender, going all in by accepting we are powerless and acknowledging there is a higher power that can solve our problem for us. Surrender means the ability to face responsibilities as they should be faced. To take life as it comes day by day and work problems out. That's what surrender means. We surrendered many times to the bottle. Since we gave our willpower over to AA, whatever AA has wanted of us, we've tried to do to the best of our ability. AA gives us alcoholics direction into a way of life without the need for alcohol. That life is lived one day at a time, letting the problems of the future rest with the future. When the time comes to solve them, God will give us strength for that day. September 8th, 
We asked his protection and care with complete abandon. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 59. I could not manage my life alone. I had tried that road and failed. My ultimate sin dragged me down to the lowest level I have ever reached and unable even to function. I accepted the fact that I desperately needed help. I stopped fighting and surrendered entirely to God. Only then did I start growing. God forgave me. A higher power had to have saved me because the doctors doubted that I would survive. I have forgiven myself now and I enjoy a freedom I have never before experienced. I've opened my heart and mind to Him. The more I learn, the less I know. A humbling fact. But I sincerely want to keep growing. I enjoy serenity, but only when I entrust my life totally to God. As long as I am honest with myself and ask for His help, I can maintain this rewarding existence. Just for today, I strive to live His will for me soberly. I thank God that today I can choose not to drink. Today, life is beautiful. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.